What's going on guys? Welcome to Sonic Sounds and today we are going to talk about all things 808 in Logic Pro X. What we're going to do is find an 808 sample, bring it into Logic Pro X, load it up into Sampler, set a key, make sure it's monophonic, make sure we can glide it, add some glides and also do sidechain compression with the kick and then we're going to see what it sounds like. So let's hop into Logic Pro X. I have a kick, hi-hat and a snare sample that's loaded up and a melodic sample as well. So let's listen to that and then bring in some of the 808s. So let's go. So that is the kick, hi-hat, snare and the melodic sample. What we're going to do is load up the Sonic Sounds Killer 808s and we have a bunch of 808s right here. These are some of the nicest 808s that you can use for short and long decays. So let's listen to all of these. Now I like this one. I'm going to bring it over and into this empty gray area and go to optimize quick sampler. Now what quick sampler is immediately going to tell me is the key of the sample and then it's polyphonic. So let's do monophonic. Now this is how we make sure that if we're playing a chord by accident, it's not playing all three keys. It's only hitting one key at a time. Now in order to glide, this is pretty much where you want to change it. I like any number between 60 to 80 milliseconds, but play around with this depending on your song and the sample. And the pitch bend range, we want to make it 12. Now our 808 is ready to go. So let's play it. Now that we have the 808, what we're going to do is we're going to replicate the kick pattern into the MIDI. So what we're going to do is go to this kick loop. Now, if you have a loop where you have the kick by itself, this is super awesome. You just go to the track and you hit control D. And what that's going to do is it's going to bring up this thing. That's going to let you pretty much replace or double this particular drum sample or the area. Now we're going to say that it's a kick and just click OK. Now what it's doing is really just making a MIDI of this particular kick. Now where this could be useful is let's say you want a layer sample. So let's see what kick it replaced it with. All right, actually, you know, it, this kick could use some body. So let's see how they sound together. All right, now what we're also gonna do is really just bring this MIDI into our 808. Now Carly is playing at C. So we're gonna select all and we're gonna move it to G right here. So it's in the key of the song. Let's see it. All right. I think I'm going to hit select all and move it up one more octave and select all again, shift and slash, and it's going to do force legato. Now with my 808s, what I really like doing is because uh, some of them are playing at different velocities, I'm going to go to velocity processor and my default, I've just set it. So it plays it at full particular velocity. So let's, Great. All right, let's play everything together. All right, now we want to glide some notes. So what we're going to do is, now we know the song is in G minor, so we're going to start moving some of the MIDI around. Okay, so I'm going to do Command Shift up. So this is going to go up an octave, and I'm going to just slightly go over the other MIDI. So now we heard that, now we can do that with other places. For example, right here, let's just add a note right here. So it glides in just right here. All right, we can even move some of these up. Let's move this one here and again, bring it over like this. So make sure it all glides into each other. Now that sounds great, but you can see the kick and the 808 are really getting muddy and they're mixing in with each other and they don't have their own breathing room. So what we're going to do is go to our 808 and add a compressor right here. And what we're going to do is go to sidechain audio. We're going to hit kick and click the sidechain. Now what that's going to do is every time the kick is playing, you'll see this knob going down and it's going to pretty much suppress the volume of the 808 while the kick is playing. All right, so now that's happening, we should be able to hear the kick and the 808 slightly with a bit more room for each other. All right, 
Now, you know, sometimes these slides and glides don't work. I'm going to remove this. And then what I really like is actually, if you go to fat effects right here, this is a stock logic plugin. Now there's bass, drum, different presets. So let's go to bright dirt and then you can mix this into your taste. So I'm just going to keep it at 0% and slide it into my taste. So that was a quick crash course on how to make 808s on Logic Pro X, how to bring in the samples, how to set the key, how to make sure they're monophonic, how to make sure they're sliding and gliding into your tracks, and also how to do side chain compression with the kick and the 808. If you like any of the samples or anything that you heard, you can grab a lot of this stuff on my site at imsonicsounds.com. These color 808s just dropped on my site, so if you want them, you can grab those right there. There are also a bunch of freebies on my site as well. As usual, keep making some dope music, and if you do have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comment below. Make sure to share, subscribe, and like.